All right, I've been working really hard for the last three weeks, uh, nonstop, every single minute I have to get my system expanded. So here's my newest video on my expanded fish room. Um, I have one piece of the puzzle left and it's my sump. I still have this 60 gallon horse trough. So if the power goes out, I will be screwed but hopefully that doesn't happen before I upgrade it to the 100 gallon um, horse trough sump. Right now it's just the 60 gallon. But what I've added to the uh, system is four more 40s, two 20 longs, nine 10 gallons, and I do have these three 10 gallons over here still. Uh, they're gonna be my quarantine or quarantine tanks or maybe some little grow out tanks. Uh, I have my original 640s and my 229s. Uh, right down here, I have some egg tumblers. I got some babies in there. You see the little babies in there. So I got some egg tumblers. Uh, these are my lemon jakes, my dragon bloods. My Azurus. I have my electric blue Ali. He's back there. I got him separated from females. He beats him up. My sunshine. Now I separated my super ruby reds and my albino ruby reds. I got those separated. There's one guy. I got a second guy back there. Uh, and I also separated my Carolines. I had a, a dominant male and a subdominant male. So I wanted to see what color the subdominant male would change once I separated him out. Got my Rubens. Uh, down here is where I separated the subdominant male of the Carolines out. And he's already bred with one of the females in the last two days. So I got him with three females and the, the, the dominant male with three females. Over here I got my Super Ruby Reds. They're really pretty. Uh, this tank right here is gonna be some Blue Neon Undo Reefs. Um, they're gonna be, I got them shipping right now. They're gonna be delivered tomorrow. I'll do a video of those. Uh, right here I have some male Azurus. I had two extra male Azurus and they were starting to fight in that tank over there. But this will be, uh, I'm thinking about getting some flame tails and some Lawandas. So I'll be adding those to my stock. Some blue neons, some flame tails. And then once I figure out which male I like of the Carolinas, I'm going to get some Lawandas. Uh, up here I got my 220 longs. I don't have a light over all of my baby tanks right now because I really don't want significant algae growth in the tanks. Uh, I am going to put some shop lights above the tanks but for uh, visual reasons only when people ever come over to look at my fish I'll turn the lights on for them. But I have a ton of babies. Some Caroline babies. These are my Azurus babies. Lemon Jakes. And here I have some Dragon Bloods and Rubens. Here I have some Sunshines. Uh, my Albinos, I only have two little babies in there. I only got two babies out of the last batch, but that's what's in the egg tumblers right now, some Albino babies. And some Electric Blue Allies. And then these two tanks are empty. They're waiting for uh, some new, I got four mama fish holding right now. They'll be ready to strip in a week or two. Um, but in another video, I'll go over the plumbing and the, the drain stacks that I made and how I set this whole system up. I connected it to my original system uh, right there and right there. So <clears throat> from the sump, I have my mag drive pump 
it goes up, shoots the water all the way across, goes across the top of here, comes down right there, shoots across the bottom of these tanks, then goes across and shoots the bottom across the bottom of these tanks and ends right here. I got it capped off right there. So this is uh, just a quick overview of my fish room. I'm loving it and I can't wait to get my new species in stock. Uh, lots of room to grow out my babies. I can't wait. Thanks for looking.